Hello, back again. Uh, that was the lake. Uh, it is on my way to one of my home visit today. Right. So the five points about the normal oral anticoagulation tablets we should know uh, to manage a patient in CSA if it comes. Right. Number one point is they they acts on factor 10A and thrombin. That's it. Um, and number two point is examples. Uh, Rivaroxaban and Abiaxaban which acts on um, factor 8 and inhibit them. And uh, dabigatrin, it inhibits the thrombin. The number three point is indications. They are indicated uh, and they are nice, um, uh, nice approved as well for the prevention of stroke and embolism with non-valvular atrial fibrillation uh, with one or more risk factors like heart failure, high blood pressure, if age more than 75 and more, diabetes if there is any previous history of stroke and TIA and the number two indications um, they are used for treatment of uh, PE and DVT and prevention of recurrent thromboembolism of course. Um, the 10 milligram is used to um, prevent VTE in adult patients uh, going for elective hip or re uh, knee replacement surgery okay so these are the three indications for novel oral anticoagulation tablets. And the fourth point is contraindications. They are not good with patients with bad liver, kidney, um, creatine clearance less than 15, and in pregnant and breastfeeding women as well. Number fifth point, complications and efficacy. They say like uh, rivaroxaban is it's not um, inferior to warfarin in, um, in preventing thromboembolism and stroke. And they say like the bleeding tendency is more or less um, same as warfarin in terms of intracranial hemorrhage and mass uh, major bleeding but they have a slightly increased risk of uh, the small minor bleeding like GI bleeding uh, so we have to make sure we we check the full blood count and um, any any GI associated symptoms and uh, that's it these are all the five points about the novel oral anticoagulation tablets and um, see you soon with the another tip. Bye-bye.